In this video, we will do an exam review of the Mallory V syndrome. But first, an important exam questions and can get the answers after the topic is done. Question number one Where is the lesion in the Mallory V syndrome? Number two When does it cause brisk bleeding? Number three How Mallory V syndrome is treated during endoscopy? And number four What's hematemesis? Now, let's discuss the Mallory V syndrome. Mallory V syndrome is a longitudinal tear in the luminal wall of the esophagus where at the gastroesophageal junction involving the mucosa only that causes hematemesis or coffee ground emesis. Mallory V syndrome accounts for 5 to 10 percent cases of upper GI bleed. When does it cause massive bleeding? When the tear disrupts submucosal arteriole. Usually it involves mucosa only. But if the tear disrupts the submucosal arteriole, then it causes massive bleeding. Otherwise, it's a superficial tear that does not perforate. And in mild cases, the condition heals without any intervention in a few days time. Causes of Mallory V syndrome. Increased intraluminal pressure in the esophagus may occur due to coughing, retching or hiatal hernia. It may also be caused by seizures and childbirth. Diagnosis is done by endoscopy. Esophagram shows barium in the tear and angiography shows bleeding points. The treatment of Mallory V syndrome. Other than the general measures, endoscopy is a method of choice for to treat the Mallory V syndrome. Other are proton pump inhibitors and antiemetics. Avoid alcohol use and blood transfusion in excess bleeding as occur in submucosal tear that involved arteriole. So how is it treated by endoscopy? Treated by endoscopy with epinephrine injection or coaptive coagulation, hemoclips or band ligations. It can also be treated with vasopressin injection or angiographic embolization. Now answers to the questions. Where is the lesion in Mallory V syndrome? It's a longitudinal tear in the mucosal layer in the luminal wall of the esophagus at the gastroesophageal junction. Question number two, when does it cause brisk bleeding? Answer, when the tear disrupts the submucosal arteriole, then it causes massive bleeding. Question number three, how Mallory V syndrome is treated during endoscopy? Epinephrine injection, coaptive coagulation, hemoclip or band ligation and also with vasopressin injection or angiographic embolization. What's hematemesis? Hematemesis is acute GI bleeding and vomiting of fresh red blood. 